Right. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can create a artifact registry and publish your uh, Docker image to this service. So let's go to artifact registry service first. Okay. And you can create a repository over here. Let's say I would be using it for keeping the images, right? So call it as container images, naming it very simple. Okay, I'll go with standard mode. We have remote mode. If you want to source the uh, Docker images or cache the Docker images from Docker Hub, you can even do that in remote mode. Okay. Or you can add any other virtual upstream rep uh, register repositories as well. So I'm not getting the images from any third party or Docker Hub repository. I want to create and push the images. I'll go with the standard mode and I'll keep this uh, regional service. So I'll keep it, I'll create it in central US. If you can go multi-regional, again, multi-regional, you can select entire US if you want to, to replicate the image across different region in US, but I want to keep it in central US, Iowa. I'll select this and rest of the things I'll keep default. And I'll create this artifact registry repository. Okay, so meanwhile, this is getting created. Let's also try to build a Docker image. I'll go to a service called a sports space. We log into the account. Okay, and I'll log into this code space. Provides you an online workstation. So I don't have Docker running on my laptop right now. So I'll build the Docker image and push the Docker image from here to the container, sorry, artifact registry service. Okay. This is ready. Over here, I can start pushing images. We'll see how to push the images in some time, but let's have an image created first. Okay, so what I'll do is I have this. Uh, small HTML website and I have a Docker file for it. Okay. So I'll create a Docker image first. It's already there, but yeah, I'll again create it one more time so that you guys understand how it works. If I do Docker images, I don't have anything and let's go inside this directory. And let's build a Docker image. Docker build hyphen t oxer dot. So this will build an image called as oxer. It's a very simple HTML website. We are running inside the container. Again, if you want to run, if you want to learn more detail about Docker containers, there is a free course on the website which you can try. This should have the image created for us. And let's try to push the image. Now, before I can push the image, I need to authenticate to this service, right? And this is the authentication command. And I also have G Cloud installed on this workstation already. Oh, it's not there. So let's install G Cloud because without G Cloud, command wouldn't run. OK, 
it on this machine. So this is done. Let's try to install it now. Let's wait for this installation. All right, so gcloud CLI is installed. Let's do gcloud init to authenticate. We'll do the diagnostic, which will take time. So taking time, so let's say yes. Let's open this. Select the account. Get over here. And let's select our project. Let's show the things and say no. All right, so this is configured. And now let's try to what happened to this. Okay, let's try to authenticate to the container registry or artifact registry which we have created. And since we have already did a gcloud in it, it will just simply pick up the credential. Okay, so you don't need to run the entire authentication command again. Okay, this is done. Okay, so this is done. Now I want to push the image. So before I can push the image, I need to tag my image, this image, with the with this URL. Okay, followed by uh, the container registry. Okay, so it will copy the entire thing. If I click on that copy command, it will give me the entire thing. So you need to put the entire thing over here like this. Then the image name. And then the tag, let's say latest. And if I do docker tags, or sorry, docker images now, I'll have the tagged image. So this is the tagged image, right? And I can push this image now. So I can say docker push and the entire thing. And what this will do is this will push the image to the content artifact registry. You can see it is getting pushed. Tell on post. If you refresh page over here, okay, you will find the image. Okay, so we have the image push to artifact registry service. Okay, so this is how you can create artifact registry and you can build a Docker image and you can push a Docker image to artifact registry service.